a compass specially for the purpose of sea voyage were used by the sailors to navigate the direction of their particular destinations. Simply put, a compass shows you the direction where you're going or want to go. But how does the needle of a compass magically moves to point the north direction of the geographical earth? To help you understand better, let me clear all the necessary concepts first. There are two points on the earth's surface, which makes the earth's axis, which is simply an imaginary line around which the earth spins once a day. These two points are called the earth's geographic poles. This is the particular north and south that we use as a traveler to navigate a location on a map. Interestingly, Earth has a magnetic field that gives it magnetic north and magnetic south. These are called the Earth's magnetic poles. If you look closely, the magnetic south lies near the geographic north and the magnetic north lies near the geographic south. Lastly, magnets are materials also having two ends, north and south. Now, if these all are clear to you, let's begin. The compass works because its magnetic needle is interacting with the Earth's magnetic poles. They both interact because they share the same property called magnetism. The property of a magnet is simple. If two separate magnets are close enough, the same poles will repel each other, while the opposite poles will attract each other. Likes repel and unlikes attract. So in our case, with the compass and the earth, the north of our magnetic needle of our compass gets attracted towards and points to the south of the magnetic pole of the earth, which is the same place where the north of a map lies. We like to think that the needle is pointing directly to the geographic north, but in reality it is actually pointing to the south of the magnetic poles. And this is how the compass enables the sailors to navigate where north is and to find their way back to their ports.